Let's talk about shape layers in Photoshop CC. Like the pen tool, shape layer also uses vector technology. You will get shape layer tool right here in the toolbar. Now click on that and you can see various shapes like rectangular tool, rounded rectangular tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, line tool, and custom shape tool. By selecting these items, you can draw them as regular paths or in a shape layer. See in the options bar, on the second position, you can see a menu. It will show you three options to draw your shape like path, shape, and pixels. Now pixel fills the drawn path with pixels. This option does not use vector technology. And path will draw only the path of the shape. It will not fill in any color in the path. But here I select shape option and then you can see some various options here. I can select fill color, stroke color, stroke type, and many more options here. Now draw the shape and see in the layer panel a new layer was created there. You can see a small path icon on the layer. It's indicating this layer is a shape layer. You can see there are some control handles of the vector shape. If you want to edit the color of the shape, then just go outside and double click on the shape layer and you will get the color picker. These are vector shapes, meaning they are resolution independent and I can drag and use them in any document and I can scale them up and down without any loss of quality because they are using vector technology instead of pixel technology. Let's see a useful aspect of shape tools, the custom shape tool. This gives you lots of ready-made shapes and you can easily use them when you want. All these shapes are included in this pop-up menu by numbers of different categories, but right now I'm choosing all so that I can get all the shapes out there in the list. Now choose the shape that you want to use. To draw the shape, you can simply click on the work area if you want to draw it with any specific size, or you can simply drag and draw the shape to create the shape layer. Let's edit shape's color and stroke properties in this options bar at the top. Now if you want to subtract some part inside the shape, then I'll go and select Ellipse Tool. And I'll go here and set the Pathfinder feature to subtract from the shape. And if I draw a circle inside here, then it's going to subtract that area from the main shape. I can also change the position of the shape. So this was a brief overview about the shape layers in Photoshop. You can create various kinds of designs with the help of the shape layer without losing any quality because it uses vector technology. Now let's go ahead to our next topic, Smart Object.